I think any player will be hurt by that. And I hope those fans, um, you know, have their moment where they can look back and say, man, I really shouldn't have done that. And I don't think he's going to get an apology uh, from the fans, but um, he's, he's done a lot for that city, a lot for that organization. So I think they should rethink that. And I applaud him for making a tough decision. It's hard to make that decision with the uh, scrutiny and, uh, you know, what people say on social media and, you know, I know what happened last night. You also got to understand, take it in effect that it's a livelihood that if something happens, you can't do something for the rest of your life. So that is much bigger than, I guess, the numbers and whatever they look at. But it's the gift that we've been given, and it's also the curse. Those were Colts fans booing Andrew Luck after news of his retirement broke during the Colts preseason game Saturday night. And following the game, Luck said this about the boos. It hurt. I'll be honest. It hurt. All right, let's welcome in former NFL Pro Bowler Keyshawn Johnson. Thank you for Gee. being here. What's up, Keyshawn? What's, What's up, Keyshawn? Happening? How are you All guys right, well, doing? We're good. well, thank you. Yeah. Will, I'll start with you. Uh, was the booing by fans fair or foul? Allow me to take this off. I'd like to go first. Um, I'm going to try to be as nice and as professional as I possibly can be here. I can't believe that I'm saying this. The fans were not wrong. I think people, it's, it's real popular to sit up there and point the finger at the fans. And a lot of times it's justified and it's deserved. But I got to say, it wasn't that, it, it, you got to take it, everything should be contextualized. You just found out about a week to go before the NFL, a week and a half before the NFL season start, that your star quarterback, who by the way missed the entire 2017 season, comes back, wins Comeback player of the year, takes you to the playoff, gets you to a divisional playoff game, and not only do you have a significant portion of your team returning, but you add Devin Funches to the mix to help out a T.Y. Hilton. You got a massive offensive line. Ebron is coming off an all-pro caliber year. When you look at all of those things taken into consideration, and then in the moment you learn yeah, that, that the man is retired, like, what the hell is going on? What is this? Okay, and this is the point that I'm trying to make. Jim Brown didn't retire at age 29. You know when he retired? July 13th, 1966. Mm. Barry Sanders retired at age 31. You know when he retired? July 27th, 1999. Calvin Johnson retired at age 30. You know when he retired? March 8th, 2016. If Andrew Luck had retired at any of those times, I don't think you get that kind of reaction. It's that, wait a minute, on August 4th, I think, you told Peter King, I, I expect to be ready for week one. Mm. And two, three weeks later, you're retiring. So I think that we have to take that into consideration. I, think it, I don't think the boos were about him leaving. I think the boos were about the timing. In other words, we can't ready to start the season. So, you've been so, going through what you've been going through, and a week and a half before the NFL season begins, we get this news? I think that's the problem, and I think as a result of that, I think in this particular instance, first of all, it wasn't everybody. There was some serenade It was loud, though. It was, it, was loud. Loud, it was loud, but I think those people in that moment deserve that pass. All right, listen. That's uh, what I'm saying. Keyshawn, let me jump on Stephen A. for just a moment here. Here's the thing. I actually think everything you just said was true, man. The, the timing of it, the overall sense of disappointment. Colts fans had a real, legit reason to believe they were going to contend for a Super Bowl this year. I was going to toy with them winning the AFC, making my preseason picks. There's real, not just disappointment, but a sense that things came in way under expectations for Andrew Luck and the Indianapolis Colts. And I, and I understand it, man. And here's the thing. I've made arguments in the past. Fans' job is to be fans and to feel it. They're visceral. That's what they're supposed to be doing. However... Everything you just said can be true, Stephen A., and I'm not trying to be on a high horse. I'm not trying to sermonize, but you got to be better than that. You can feel all that. It can be real, and you can. your mom can tell you, I understand, baby, and pat you on the back, but you still got to be better than that. You cannot rain down booze I on respond. a guy who's given you seven years. Like I respond. That. Go ahead, Keyshawn. Well, look, I, I, I kind of somewhat agree with Stephen A., and I kind of somewhat agree with you, too, Will. I would say it this way, though. Andrew Luck is a teaser to the fans, okay? Like yeah. Stephen A. said, he put them in a situation where they felt good. They go out there, they get Devin Funches, they draft O-Lyman, they do all the things to make a run. They're fa they were favored to win their division, okay, let alone the conference by some. They were favored by some to even maybe make it to the Super Bowl. All of these sort of things, fantasy football, you just name it. 
And then all of a sudden you hear why sitting in the stands at a preseason game that your star quarterback has decided to retire right before the end of preseason. And now you basically are stuck with the number two quarterback having to be your starter. So you're going to feel a certain type of way. Now, as it comes down over the next several days, I'm sure we will see people say, come out at the fan in the fan base and say they were sorry or they were emotional, all of those sort of things. But I don't see 24 hours. It'll be over with as far as the booze go. People will celebrate the seven years that he had in Indianapolis. I think a lot of people are saying now the seven years, we're all making the seven years like they won a bunch of Super Bowls. They made some playoffs. They won some divisions, but it's not like they won Super Bowls. It, we're no. not talking about Tom Brady. And because we're just talking key. about a guy who was showing promise from injuries and taking them to the playoffs when they had a bad season the year before. Yeah, Key, and because of that, I'm not sure it's going to go away in a couple of days. See, we all agree the Andrew Luck experiment, Stephen A. in Indianapolis, fell short. Honestly, way short of expectations. Well, see, I, I, don't get... that, I don't know. I don't think it's way short, Will. Oh, man. I don't think it's way short. Oh, no. no I don't I think told so. you I think you're wrong. Listen, yeah, hold be... on. When Andrew Luck was drafted, he was billed as a generational quarterback. I'm not talking about a first overall pick every other year in the draft. I'm talking about a guy who ousted Peyton Manning. He the was next headed, generational he was quarterback in that I, direction. Well, well, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No, no, no. no. Just no, no, no. Just break, 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 break. You got time. We got to go to commercial break. I'm sorry. I got to help you out here. Because Will and Keyshawn don't want to listen. I'm just getting to go. Go ahead, Roz. Go ahead, Roz. We'll be talking about this topic all throughout the show. Uh, hey, Keyshawn, thank you so back. much. Wait, wait, wait. Oh, he's hanging with us? No, Keyshawn's hanging with us. We got to finish this segment, right? All you right, stand right here, right, Key? Stay with I'm, us. I'm, I'm good. Right, right, stay right, right there. Do it, right? <laughs> stay right there. That was many like times I show, segment. Many times I show up on your radio show in the morning. Stay started. right there. Stay right there. Absolutely. So Keyshawn will be here. We will be continuing this topic okay. later in the show and with huh. Keyshawn. And Paul we will be discussing what does the man who will forever be tied to Andrew Luck think of his sudden retirement. RG3 opens up on Luck opting out of Indy. Don't go anywhere. The NFL season is right around the corner. Excitement is building as week one approaches. Who has the best chance to dethrone Tom Brady and the Pats? Will Patrick Mahomes win back-to-back -back MVPs? Are the Cowboys still in accident?